what happens when a specialty Tasmanian timber meets high voltage electricity. Detailed fractal patterns. John Eggleston of Olverston in Tasmania has been fractal burning timber for just over a year. So I remember I was in year 11 woodwork class and I was just um, researching on the computer about different things I could do to the surface of a wooden table. And I remember coming across a few YouTube videos of fractal burning, thought I'd give it a go and since then I've turned it into a business. John starts with a piece of native Tasmanian timber like sassafras, blackwood or hue and pine and he coats it with an electrically conductive solution. Then he attaches two jumper leads and passes 2,400 volt electricity across the wood. The electricity burns the timber as it travels, creating intricate, lightning-like designs. John then blasts the timber with water and either finishes it with tongue oil or has it coated with epoxy resin. Fractal burning may look easy, but it's an extremely risky business. Because of the extremely high voltage involved in fractal burning, it is dangerous, it is potentially deadly. People have died from it. It is critical that I pay attention at all times and never lose focus at what I'm doing. Who would have guessed that such delicate designs could be created by a craft that can kill?